Well, good morning, everyone. Here we are again, starting another week of virtual preschool. So let's go ahead and figure out what day it is today. So what was the last day we had of school? Yeah, Friday. And then we had the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. So we are back to Monday. Yes. So let me put the frog up here on Monday. And guess what? That looks different, doesn't it? We have a new month. It's not October anymore. Does anyone know what month comes after October? If you said November, you are correct. And you can kind of see some a bunch of food. Well, maybe you can't, you're kind of far away. But there's a bunch of food on a big table and a turkey and some people eating the food. That's because the holiday of Thanksgiving comes in November. So we here we are in November. And the first day of November was actually yesterday. So let's see here what we have. What's our picture for the month? <gasps> it's a turkey. Because a lot of times people eat turkey for Thanksgiving. Not everybody, but a lot of people do. So we have a number one on the turkey. So that was yesterday on Sunday. Today is Monday, so we need to do one more. Let's see what color turkey this one is. It's yellow and it has a number. So let's see, one, what comes after one? Two, yes. So there is our yellow turkey with a number two. So today is Monday, November 2nd. And if we look over here, you can see that I moved the little arrow. Here was October, and now it's on kind of in the beginning of November, but we're still in the season of fall. All right, it's still fall right now. All right, so let's look out the window and figure out what the weather is today. So you're gonna look out your window at your house and see what the weather is today. Is it snowy? Is it rainy? Is it partly cloudy? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it stormy? Is it foggy? Or is it windy? And remember, it can be more than one of those things in a day. So let's see here. What does it feel like out today? So you'll have to kind of step out the door to feel what it's like out today. So does it feel cool? Does it feel warm? Does it feel cold? Or does it feel hot? All right, so you're going to figure that out. All right, so we have a new theme this week and next week. We have the same theme for two weeks this time, and it is food. All right, now I have some books that I usually like to read about food that talks about the different kinds of food, but for some reason I cannot find them. I searched through all my boxes and everything, and I cannot find them, and they probably just got misplaced when I moved a few months ago, so I have to keep searching for those. But I have some other storybooks that are kind of about food, so that's what we're going to read since I can't find my other ones. So, let's see, some of you may have read this book before. It's kind of a, a popular book, so let's see here what is in our mystery envelope today. And the book that we read is going to give you a kind of a hint about what kind of food we're talking about today. So let's see. Oh, what is that on the front cover? What is that? What kind of fruit is that? Yeah, it's a strawberry and there's a mouse climbing up to it. So this is called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. So let's read it. It's a good story. Hello. 
Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? Look at the mouse. He looks pretty proud of himself. But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Look at the look on that mouse's face. Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. <laughs> look at that, the mouse's tail is just sticking straight out and its face looks kind of worried. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Especially one that has just been picked. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big, hungry feet and <laughs> find the strawberry. No matter where it is hidden, the mouse is trying to hide it or who is guarding it. Look at that, the mouse has it all locked up and it's holding the key. Or how it is disguised. Oh, this is funny. Look at that, look at that. The mouse is wearing a, a disguise and so is the strawberry. Oops. Quick. There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Cut it in two. Share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Now that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. And there's the mouse. The end. All right, so this book had a certain kind of food in it, didn't it? It had a strawberry. Now, do any of you know what kind of food a strawberry is? So let's see, we have fruits, we have vegetables, we have grains like bread, we have dairy like milk. What else? I'm missing something. Oh, we have protein like meat and, and dry beans. So what kind of food do you think a strawberry is? Yeah, if you said it's a fruit, you are correct. So today we are talking about fruits and I am going to just show you some other pictures I have of different kinds of fruits. Now these aren't all the fruits in the whole world. These are just some of the fruits. All right, so we know strawberries, right? Also pineapple, grapes, pears, apples. We're seeing lots of apples right now, right? This is the time to pick apples. Peaches, watermelon. That's a favorite in the summer, right? Oranges, bananas, and of course the one in the book, which is strawberries. So those are some different examples of fruit. 
All right, fruit is one of our food groups that we have. So each day we are going to be talking about a different food group. Today was our fruits. All right, so let me show you what I have for you today. So it's the beginning of another month. Remember, we just started November. So we need to do another self-portrait. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do it this time because I'm pretty sure you remember, right? It says, this is me in November, and this is in your take-home packet. And so you're going to think about what body parts you have, right? We've done this a couple times already. You're going to think about what body parts you have, and you're going to draw a picture of yourself with those body parts on here. Now, don't forget to bring those to, to me at the preschool so that I can hang on to them and save them. Plus, I'd really like to see what you look like, what you draw yourself like, all right? Then we also have a new reading log. Now remember, we've done these before too. Every time you read a book with your mom or dad or somebody else, you can color in a leaf, all right? So every time you read a book, you color in a leaf. Remind your mom and dad to make more copies of this because you'll probably read more books than are on this page. All right, so there's your reading log for November, your self-portrait for November. And of course, we need a new November calendar. So we've got that and you'll see it has turkeys on it because of Thanksgiving. So let me just get myself organized here because I have two sets of everything because I do this for the fours class and the threes class. All right, so here we go. So in your packet, you have the November calendar and you have a turkey sh body shape. That's what this little thing is in your packet, all right? And then at home, you're gonna need to find another piece of paper and you're gonna need to cut some strips of scrap paper. Some, any kind of paper that you, it really doesn't matter. I happen to have this, um, wrapping paper that I use. So I cut some strips out of the wrapping paper that I, extra wrapping paper that I had, okay? You can do that or your mom and dad can cut the strips. It doesn't really matter. These are gonna be your turkey feathers, all right? So, and you know what? Actually, I'm looking at these and I think they're a little long. So I'm gonna quick, really quick here. I'm gonna cut them kind of in half because I think I made them a little too long for my paper. So there we go. Now we got some little shorter strips. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, remember before we always write our name, Miss Mika, and then I'm going to trace the numbers. Now remember, if you're four or five, I want you to trace all the numbers. Now, I am not four or five, so I am not going to trace all the numbers, but you can trace all the numbers. All right, so there's our calendar. I wrote my name. I traced some of the numbers. And then we need to make our turkey. So, oh, you know what? And I forgot to bring, ah, here we go. I got some crayons over here. We're gonna glue our turkey onto our extra piece of paper. Uh-oh, it's a good thing I have another glue stick over here. That one is kaput. All right, so let's put some glue on our turkey body. And we're gonna stick our turkey body on our paper. We're gonna make sure to leave plenty of room for the feathers. All right, so there's my turkey body right there. Then I'm going to take my, my scrap paper strips, which mine are made out of uh, wrapping paper, but you could use construction paper, you could use old newspapers, old magazines, whatever you have around. And I'm gonna kinda make some turkey feathers all the way around on my turkey here. And you can put on as many as you want. The more you put on, the cooler your turkey will look. And you kinda, sometimes kinda have to stick them sort of behind the turkey body, which can be a little tricky, but let's keep glue these feathers on here. Uh, mine's kind of sticking off the page. Uh oh, just a second. Lights just went out. There we go. All right. Unfortunately, we have motion censored lights, so 
if I'm not moving around the room and Audrey's not here, which she's not here today, then they just turn off. And I have to move around to make them turn back on. Let's see here. Where's my, I'm trying to make a pattern of my different papers here. I'm going to kind of stop right there. Okay, so you can put on as many turkey feathers oops, as you want. There's mine. And then you're going to need to add some parts to your turkey. Let's see. So their turkey has like that little gobble thing. It has a name, but every year I forget what it's called. So there's that. And then the little turkey eyes and the turkey beak. Let's see. Man, doesn't want to work very well. And then you can add some little turkey legs. All right. So there is my turkey. And then I'm going to take my calendar, like we always do, and put some glue on the two corners. One, two, and stick it down. Oh, I'm going to end up covering up my turkey's feet. Oh, well. Stick it down on my turkey and I have a November calendar to hang up and you could use it to check off the days, right? All right, so there's the November calendar. And, oh, wait a minute, I need to grab that glue off of there. All right, let's see. One more thing to show you. All right, in your packet, you have a, oops, I got two here because I'm gonna be, paper plate. All right, and you're going to write your name on the back of that paper plate. Now, don't lose this paper plate because you're going to be using this every school day for the next two weeks. All right, you're going to be adding to it. So you're going to be looking for pictures of different foods to glue on your plate. So today we're going to be looking for a picture of a fruit. So I've got some magazines here. If you have magazines or grocery flyers are great like your grocery ads, and you're going to look through and find a picture of a fruit. And I think grocery flyers are probably the best thing. I've got, this one doesn't, let's see here. Do I have any fruits in this one? Do, 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 lots of cookies. This must have been a Christmas one because there were some Christmas cookies in it. Oh, wait, what was that? Nope. All right. Aha! Look what I found. I found a bowl of oranges and there's something else on top of it, but it is a bowl of oranges and oranges are a fruit. So I'm going to cut out my bowl of fruit. Now, another thing you can do, which I've said before, is you can tear out the whole page where your fruit is and that makes it easier to cut. And remember, when you're cutting, your thumb always goes up. Always, not, not down, and you don't use two hands. Thumb up, all right? So after you cut out your fruit, mine is oranges, and I'm gonna actually, I think I'm gonna kinda cut around it a little bit more so it doesn't take up quite as much room on my plate. So I'm gonna be adding more foods to my plate as I go along here. So there's my oranges, and I'm going to put some glue on them, and I'm going to glue my oranges to my plate. All right, there you are. Now you're going to keep this plate, all right, don't lose it, because the next time we're going to add another kind of food to it, all right? Each day we're going to add a different food to our plate until we have something that's from each of the food groups, all right? So that is the last thing I have for you today. I will see some of you today at 1030 for small group. All right, and we're gonna be talking about where our food comes from at small group. Because for Miss Mika, I feel that's very important for kids and grown-ups to know where their food comes from, right? It doesn't really come from the grocery store. That's just where you buy it. It has somewhere that it comes from originally, like a farm or an animal, right? 
So we're gonna talk about where our food comes from during small group, all right? So I'll see some of you then, and I will see the rest of you, or you will see me for circle time on Wednesday, and small group, on, I will see you for small group on Wednesday too, all right? Bye everyone, have a great day.